Hey there, it's Melissa with Atlas CFO. Today we're talking about favorite KPIs. This is a question that we get asked on a pretty regular basis, and here's the thing, I changed my mind. In fact, I changed my mind on my favorite KPIs, key performance indicators, almost on a at least a yearly basis, and a lot of that depends on what's going on in the world and what the economy looks like, what our supply chain looks like, and so I was asked, hey, would you update? Sure. Let's do it. Okay. KPIs. Those are key performance indicators. And what I, let's just make it easy. It's a performance measurement that tells you whether you're being successful. That's it. Like we don't have to make it any harder than that. We just want to identify the items to watch so that we can give ourselves a thumbs up or maybe look for something to change, modify, or improve. This is a no frills video. I'm not going to spend a lot of time going into it. I'm just going to go through a rapid fire. My current favorite top five know that I will change my mind possibly even later today. I won't, I won't do that later today, but I will reserve the right to change my mind possibly next year. And let's get going. I don't know that current ratio will ever come off my list. If it does, it will only be replaced with one of its sisters like working capital or uh, something along the lines of managing cash flexibility. So it's always going to be there. I, I think I've, I'm just going to go ahead and commit to it. It's something that is used by bankers, by bonding companies, and it gives us just a simple measurement, assuming all your numbers are right, on the ability for us to manage work grow and have the, um, have the flexibility to take on more things because we have that, that overall cash liquidity in the organization. So current ratio number two, I don't know if these are in order return on assets. This is a relatively new one to the ones I like to watch. And the reason why is because I have seen over the last few years, a reduction in utilization of assets. And I think it's very important for us to focus on getting a return on our assets. We took our hard earned money, invested it into equipment or assets or something in our organization. It, it could even be software. And to see that we want a return on this investment. We invested in it. We deserve a return. And I'd like to track how we're doing on that. It also is an indicator of net income and also gives us a little bit of a glimpse into how lean we are. That's always good. Months of backlog. This is another one that's really stood the test of time. And I, I would say that it's, it's a, it's a long-term keeper. What we're looking for is how long do we run? Do we have work? How long until we run out of work? How much work is it going? How much overhead is our work going to cover? So looking at some sort of a backlog um, calculation, whether that's on our whip, whether it's in the projection model that we use, but something to tell you how long, how much, and what are we going to use it for? Win rate or an opportunities rate. Um, this is another one that gets a little more into operations, but it's just so good that it has to go on my list. This is a, a calculation or a review of when do we win jobs? How close of a margin are we winning it by? What opportunities do we have out there? Uh, what are still open opportunities? And you can see that maybe if I ordered them different, they would go right along with backlog. But these two work hand in hand and give us some indicator of how we're doing on our bidding. This can be an indicator if we need to dig into our estimating software. Yeah. It's happened where, whoops, something changed. Maybe we're winning too many jobs. Sometimes that's the opposite problem, but we want to be able to calculate what our win rate is and look for the trending associated with it. And finally, I'm going to pick gross profit. Now, gross profit and all of its derivatives, meaning it could be a gross profit per hour or maybe per type of work or division. Um, Sometimes we kind of forget about it. I mean, I can't believe we would forget about gross profit, but it happens or we take it for granted. And I have seen that a renewed focus on our gross profit gives us a renewed net income. So anything that involves gross profit, anywhere from comparing our estimates to looking at some per hour, for some per project, anything that gives us a focus of how are we doing on our jobs? That's it. That's it. If you like this kind of information, head on over to our website and uh, you can do 
your own scorecard with our financial metrics mastery, or if you'd like to sign up for our, our email, that'd be great too. But building a scorecard is kind of fun. Uh, we just took the work out of it for you and gave you examples where you can just uh, add, change, delete, and plug and play. Thanks for spending time with me. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.